Welcome everyone. This is Manandar Singh Sambi. I'm part of the cloud networking team. Uh, today I'm joined here with Bikash Kohli, who leads the global network and infrastructure team here at Google. And we're going to explore about Google's network evolution and why a new approach is essential for the future. As many of you know, organizations are now looking to adopt AI in the next three years. It is extremely important that networking is at the forefront of innovation. That's right, Mulinder. Uh, over the last 25 years, Google has been at the forefront of uh, network innovations. Um, as you know, over the two decade and a half, we have built a global network that today powers some of the most demanding applications in the world. Um, but the landscape is changing very rapidly, as we all know, with, especially with AI. And we're very excited to deliver the next set of innovations uh, that we're very confident are going to delight our customers and our users. As, as we all know, everyone's talking about AI. Yes. And AI is going to be fundamentally changing how we have thought about networking in the past. In your perspective, like what does AI really bring that is so unique for us to think about challenges that the network needs to solve for? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Munindar. I, I, I genuinely believe that this is a huge inflection uh, to network and other technologies. Uh, there are a new set of challenges that require pretty fundamental rethinking of our network to address the need that the AI applications such as Gemini are bringing on top of our network, but also what our large customers are, are, are requiring us to deliver. You know, the way to think about the AI era is that the wide area network is the new local area network. What do I mean wow. by that? Um, if you think of our foundation model, Gemini, when we train Gemini, it not only uses TPU clusters or GPU clusters that are within a single data center, it uses clusters between data centers within a campus, and in fact, it uses clusters between campuses or between metros uh, spanning regions. So what we had to solve with the wide area network is to take the data center fabric and expand it between metros without losing any of the throughput of performance. The second very big part is reliability. Um, when we're training these very large models, we're using very, very large numbers of TPUs and GPUs, which are, of course, very expensive. And you don't want them to be idle during the training process because the network is not there. It's like the AI era is fundamentally different than ever seen before. And some of the things that you talked about, which really got my attention is, van is a new LAN. Second element, obviously, is reliability is going to be super important. I mean, these GPU, TPU machines are not cheap. That's right. And, you want, and our customers would want to make sure that they're using uh, them at the best optimal utilization. All these innovations that you bring, you're building it for everything. You're building it for search, YouTube, Google Cloud customers. Specifically for Google Cloud customers, how can they benefit from these innovations? You know, uh, the great news is that they're already benefiting from it because many of those innovations that I talked about we, have, we, have, we already have them up and running in our production network. Um, and the beautiful part of this is that they are benefiting from it without having to do anything. One you know, quick example of how reliability ultimately you know, leads to peace of mind for our customers. Um, our, our audience may very well know of a very large scale subsea cable outage that happened on the west coast of Africa. Uh, we have a subsea cable you know, out of the many cables that have built around the world um, targeted towards offering more resiliency around uh, issues like this. Uh, one of our submarine cables called Equi Equiano was the only cable that kept Western Africa connected to the rest of the world. Uh, we worked with a lot of our telecom carrier partners to enable them connectivity when, when outages like this happen. So obviously, you know, our, our, uh, our customers benefit from it. So yes, our customers are already benefiting from many of those. I'm, I'm really excited about these technologies. <clears throat> and uh, it's very interesting how you said current Google Cloud customers are already seeing the value of the AI era. And they didn't have to turn on and turn off a switch, which is really powerful. So I'm going to push you on one last question. So what are you launching at Google Next? I can tell you this. Every time we have hit an inflection in application, uh, the networking technology and the networking teams in Google, we have responded with a new set of innovations. And in many cases, as you said, they, they have become uh, you know, industry standard technologies over time. Um, we're working on many such very exciting technologies. 
We are going to talk about them in details uh, in upcoming uh, our uh, Google Cloud Next. I can't divulge anymore, but I'm <laughs> super excited about what we're going to talk about at, at Next because I, I do genuinely believe that it's going to delight our customers and users. For folks who are listening to this video, would like to learn more about this AI era and what networking innovations Google is going to bring, uh, please come and attend this particular session. Thank you for watching, and I would really like to thank Bikash, Bikash, your, your focus on networking innovations to keep par with how applications, users are changing. It's phenomenal. You've shown 25 years of innovation, and this is going to be one of the most exciting times with the AI era for new innovations to bring. Very excited about the new era. Thank you so thank much, Munir. Appreciate it.